been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. And today I'm gonna to start a couple of installations and reviews on some products that we've picked up for our camper. Uh, I'm gonna do separate videos on each, just in case you don't wanna see one of the items <laughs> that I'm doing the work on. Right now, what this video is going to be is on my trailer plug on the camper, the replacement to put a new end on it. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let's get up close and personal. I kind of set up a little workstation for this thing and I'm gonna get the camera kind of close, but you can see how there's a couple of terminals in here that are bigger than the rest. Uh, these four that I'm trying to point to, uh, those are smaller and these big ones are more critical. And you can see this big one here is just shot. It's gone. It's deteriorated past its use. I can kind of get it to connect, but not very well. So it's time to replace this. Unfortunately, this has never been replaced and it's molded to the cable itself. As you can see here, this is a Bargman. It says number six. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm going to be replacing it with a Kurt brand. I'm going to put the link down below for this one so you can follow along and the installation will be just the same as what mine is, but it's a part number 58140. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what it's going to take. First, I'm going to have to cut that old end off. And you can see what it looks like here, uh, all nice and neat. Um, I just went ahead and used a cutoff tool to cut that off. Then I'm going to peel back the casing a little bit and uh, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to peel it back a little bit further so these wires can spread out and be connected to the correct terminals that's on the new plug. Okay, so what you do is you uh, loosen this screw right here. It's just a little tiny screw. And then that will allow this piece here, you can see it's kind of got to stop. That screw will, once retracted, allow this to come out of the end of the plug. You're gonna slide the wires into this big receptacle here. This has to be loosened to allow that to happen though, because this tightens down the boot that cinches the wires or pinches the wires once they're in place. Okay, I went ahead and pulled apart the connector and there's colors that are marked on here and where they go and if you look at the natural state of the wires without them being twisted on here they actually match up with everything so i'm going to go clockwise here and i'm going to show you or tell you which wire goes to this connector and it's because it's marked here it matches up so we'll go ahead and start with this top wire it's a black wire and it's a thick wire so it's black and then green to the uh, again clockwise position so to your right and then we have red another big wire which is white then we have blue and then we have brown and then in the middle is yellow and that's exactly what's on this connector here so what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and take some of this off of these wires to put some bare wire in the picture and then I will loosen this connector up with a Phillips screwdriver so I can slide that bare wire inside and then tighten it down. Now I don't know about being able to loop the big wires around here, but I'm going to try. And of course, I already have the other connector, the big part of the connector, already slid on to this wiring because you don't want to strip these back and have them all spread out and everything as you're trying to slide this on so it's a good idea to keep everything nice and tight and neat slide this on and then that a point go ahead and pull apart the wires and start working with them so instead of uh, you stay in tune for all this I'll go ahead and get that done and uh, show you what it looks like before I snug it back into the final connector all right guys i'm back and it's much later in the day as far as the light goes um, the sun was going down when i started and obviously i'm in the shade now uh, made it cooler for me but maybe a little bit harder for you to see now you're going to be glad that you watched this video because at this point i'm going to tell you what you need to be aware of with this connector again the link will be down below click the link and it'll get this one whenever you do the center wire the yellow wire the screw that goes into it will actually spread the wire and not make a, that good of a connection. So what I did is just run solder on the wire and get it to where it was a connected or solid end. That way when I ran that screw in into the wire, it didn't spread because the solder was holding it. 
these large wires the black one and the white one are a handful to get to work with these type of connectors in my case those wires are larger than all the rest and they don't really accommodate the larger wire with a bigger screw or a bigger connector or anything like that every one of these wires I've got looped around the screw and back through and within the confines of this square washer that has sides to it whenever you're tightening them down you'll need a pair of pliers or a wrench or something uh, vice grips that are the same size as this square so as you're tightening down the screw with the screwdriver it doesn't allow this to spin so what I had to do was actually hold these square washers that the screw goes through and as I tightened make sure that it doesn't turn along with the screw so you can get it really tight at that point I mean I, I've got them really tight almost to the point where it's almost wanting to strip out again the white one and the black one which are larger wires are just a real handful but once you uh, tighten them all down, the best thing you can do is use extra, uh, get an extra amount of copper to show. And whenever you're cutting the wire, uh, if you want to know where to start the peel back of the insulation for each color, uh, go ahead and just mark it where it touches, where it touches the spade. Um, that's a good reference point. So where it touches the spade, go ahead and peel off your your color and to show bare wire and then at that point make the twist you know twist the wire make the turn around the screw and put the uh, square washer over top of that and then the screw in the center of that turn and then tighten it down and you'll have excess over just go ahead and clip it once it's all tightened down and you want to make sure that your excess doesn't have a chance of coming out coming loose or anything like that and reaching over and touching one of these other wires because that could cause some problems so now all I have to do finally after I have all this tightened down yeah slide this forward over top of the uh, correct slot you can see here there's a break that keeps that screw once tightened from uh, allowing this to come out and um, there's another slot on the other side that this lines up with of course there's no break there it just goes straight through once that's all tightened down then i'll tighten this screw here and the plug will be done so let's go ahead and do that and uh, we'll show you the final product and i'll give you my final thoughts on this too all right youtube so there it was and it was a little bit time consuming uh, just remember the uh, guns and roses song patience <laughs> because you're going to need it. Uh, basically, you just got to watch out for a couple of things. This is one of the most popular connectors that are being sold on Amazon and most of the reviews are positive. I want to show you one thing that I don't really care for right off the bat on this one, but it's really the design that everybody's going to, so I can't fault it. Uh, there may be somebody else out there that's making one that's got a different connector to it, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see here I've got a little bit of silicone on the uh, connector and what I've done is uh, I put silicone on the uh, wire part where I connected the wires before I pushed it in and that just helps keep everything from vibrating and moving around um, although it's not really going to move around that much anyways and then I put a little silicone on the screw so it doesn't back out which I don't think that would back out either but I just think this will make it a little bit better waterproof just slightly and uh, same here I put a little bit on the uh, wire before I slid it in so everything's tight but the thing that I wanted to point out is the connectors themselves you can see how they're just kind of like on one side and the old one uh, had to where the connectors were like pinching the blades that were on the truck now were they actually connecting any better I don't know there is more surface area here on the one side but the other ones, although they were smaller, they had two surface areas uh, to go on either side of the plug. Those plugs that are on the vehicles now, they're kind of like a folded over piece of spring steel. And what it does is the connector slides on and that part that is on the plug itself, it will rub along the sprung side and that's how it gets its connection. Uh, the old one had kind of like a, uh, a pincher style that would clip over it. Um, 
again that's just apples and oranges I don't know if one's better than the other but it's done and it's finished so that's how you connect your plug to your wire from your camper from the factory now check your wire to make sure that your trailer cord wire doesn't have a cut or a break or abrasion somewhere else because you might be putting a new connector on the end on a, uh, a piece of junk wire so inspect the wire first they do make complete wires with the plugs already installed if you want to go that route but my wires in really good shape so I just wanted to replace the plug so that's it I'm finished and I hope this helped out uh, if you like this video click like or subscribe and uh, leave comments down below I'll try to get back to you and if you have any questions again comment down below and I hope to see you guys out there. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.